Good afternoon, everyone. Is the audio okay? Because I've got the fan on. I'm not sure if it's affecting the sound. Hi, Sharon. Assalamualaikum, Azima. Can you hear me clearly? Okay, since you all died there, I'm just gonna wash my hands so we can get started. Okay, Salam Alaikum and good afternoon everybody. Welcome to your Thermomix cooking experience. Quick and easy cooking with Mimi. As usual, I'll be highlighting my super kitchen machine, the number one super kitchen machine in the world, the Thermomix. And today we're going to do something fun. I, I don't call myself an expert, but it's something that I've done before, experimented with, and you know, why not? Let's try it together. I keep telling people you can do anything with this Thermomix, and one of them is fresh pasta. So let's try it today together. Uh, and then we will need to mix our ingredients, which are super simple. We need all-purpose flour. I'm using unbleached flour. Of course, we always want to use as unprocessed as possible. I mean, obviously, you need to process the flour, but at least it's unbleached, so less chemicals in there. And then we need some eggs, fresh eggs, the biggest that you can find. And then, of course, extra virgin olive oil. And um, I have my thermomat to help me uh, with the dough later. And then I also have my pasta maker roller thingy. And I also have a place to hang my, my pasta over here while we work on the other pasta. And of course, after we make the dough, it's very, very easy. It's only two minutes kneading. And while we make the dough, um, we need to rest it a bit so that the gluten can relax and you know it's easier for us to, to work with the dough. And while we do that, we're going to pre-clean the machine. We let, we let the Thermomix clean itself up. And then while waiting just a bit more, we will have a very, very simple refreshing drink which is called a cappuccino milkshake. Using very simple ingredients also and quick and easy. As I always say, quick and easy is my middle name because I like things fast. I'm actually very impatient and <clears throat> to tell you the truth, a bit lazy. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Hi, Ida from Johor, Shaz, Rosma. Welcome everyone, Tiffany, Mariana. Okay, so let's get started. This will be super fast, I promise you. Of course, I have already, before the show started, I have already picked the recipe from Cookie Doo. Cookie Doo is the Thermomix's recipe platform. And Thermomix has been adding recipes and it's been growing. It started with like 40,000 recipes and now it's at 57,000 and still growing. Just today we got the announcement of um, a new collection which is Asian steamed muffins, if I'm not mistaken, but something Asian heritage muffins, yes. Asian heritage muffins, you should take a look at that. So that brings up the number of recipes in Cookie Doo even more. And once you buy a Thermomix, the recipe platform will come together with it. You will get one month free subscription trial and you get six months free subscription. And after that, if you don't want to continue, no problem. You still get updates for the software. 
and if you want to continue it's so good it's so cheap it's only something like 40 cent malaysia per day for all of those recipes plus meal planning plus ingredients listing just for you it's very very useful not just for planning but also for planning your shopping and also like if you have leftover ingredients and you want to know what to do with them it's easy to search by ingredients as well okay so whatever i have um picked out in my laptop or my phone or my ipad i have synced it with my account here in my thermomix so when i i tap on my week the two recipes that i've uh, marked to cook today will actually show up on screen yeah, actually I have three here because earlier I was thinking of making quiche, but then I thought, you know, the baking time would take so long, so why not let's do something different. Let's go to Italy today. Unfortunately, Italian is the, uh, not included in the list of languages that I know. I just know buongiorno. So buongiorno a tutti. <laughs> okay. Bene, let's start. Okay, fresh pasta dough. This recipe is also available in your basic cookbook. I've got the basic cookbook right here. Okay. So the basic cookbook for um, every unit of Thermomix comes with a basic cookbook. This is actually the basic cookbook for the older, uh, the TM5. Now we are, the TM5 has been phased out and replaced with the TM6. You will also get a free copy of the basic cookbook, but it will be white in color and it will have more recipes because of course, the TM6 has more um, features which the TM5 doesn't have, such as um, sous vide and sugar stages. And you will have, of course, the recipes that can support such of those such features. But um, this pasta dough is found in the same cookbook. And um, if you have this cookbook, it will be on page 54, fresh pasta dough. See. And what's nice about it is um, the ingredients are very exact. They're stated in grams, so you can replicate easily after that. And they even have these tips on what, uh, how to shape the dough, and they have pictures on how you're actually going to do it. So we will be referring to this shortly because we experiment what shapes we can do, okay? So as usual, when we tap on the arrow downwards, it will show us all the ingredients that you will need and also the steps so that we can anticipate what's going to happen. And I have the ingredients here, so I just tap on start cooking. And the first ingredient that it asks of me is 200 grams of plain flour. Plain flour is also known as um, all-purpose flour or tukunggandong. Okay. I'm using unbleached wheat flour over here. Yeah, it's also known as wheat flour. And we need 200 grams of it. So, when you are um, cooking, generally, if it's not stated, if it just says flour, then what it means is all-purpose flour or tukunggandong biasa, it's this normal one. So, unless stated, this is the default type of flour that you use when the recipe says flour. But when the recipe says bread flour, then that would be a different type. That would be high protein flour. And if the recipe says uh, pao flour, then it would be something else as well. That will be medium protein flour. And then cake flour is sometimes referred to as super fine flour or cake flour. Yes, so you will have all of those um, classifications. That's why I, I once wrote on my... I think what is on Facebook, probably on Facebook, I mentioned that, you know, baker's problems. When somebody asks if I have flour, then I ask them back, what kind of purpose? <laughs> Bread flour, pao flour, cake flour, self-raising flour, I have all of it. And that's not even all of it. I have corn flour and uh, some rye, okay? And the next is just two eggs. It even specifies it has to be large because it has to weigh about 53 to 63 grams each. Okay, And as usual, we should break our egg into a bowl just in case we get a bad egg. Okay? Um, it's useful also, it's also stated in the BCB, in the basic cookbook, that um, when they state eggs, it's usually um, grade A eggs. Because when you are baking, it makes a huge difference, especially when you are making cakes. So it's easier to just buy grade A eggs so that, you know, whatever you're cooking, whether you're making bread or you're making cake or you're cooking just omelette for yourself, you don't have to worry anymore, like, do I need to adjust the quantity of my eggs or not, okay? 
So the egg is fine and so we put it into the mixing bowl. Okay, just two eggs. Uh, the recipe also gives a tip that if you want to increase the quantity for every extra, because this was 200 grams of flour, remember? 200 grams of flour and two eggs, that means you can add another 100 grams and you can add another egg. And the maximum for this recipe is 500 grams. And some people would actually say, oh, I can't put in so much here. It's, it's not really a problem because the, the, the kneading part is super, it's super short. It's only two minutes and you can easily do it again and again and again. You will be bound by your own ability to shape the dough. So one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Hang on, let me grab a tablespoon. Italian cooking is very big on olive oil. And because of um, Thermomix low temperature cooking, I've been sauteing and cooking with this so I can easily use for my other recipes as well. Okay, and this is the part where it says insert the measuring cup into the mixing bowl lid. This is the measuring cup, this is the, me the mixing bowl lid. And we just put it in this way and just put it on top. Easy peasy. And we tap on next. And it already set for us two minutes. And we just turn the knob, select the knob to start it. And it's kneading for us, super easy. Okay. Meanwhile, while this is uh, moving, I'm going to show you some of the dough that I already prepared earlier. I actually made half a batch. Okay. And it will look something like this. And it's up to you. Um, I would recommend that you make them smaller batches because if you are new to pasta making, it's easier to handle small amounts. Oh yeah, I need to show you my pasta machine. So let's close this for a while. Okay, this pasta machine, um, I'm one of those people who loves gadgets. Okay, so when um, one time there was a Black Friday sale in the UK and my friend Linda said um, her niece, I think her, yeah, one of her nieces was there and she could actually buy something from me and I like, oh, it's my chance to get a pasta maker at something, some huge discount. So, so I looked it up in, on the internet and I, I found something that the reviews say are good, so I, I bought it. It's called um, Atlas uh, 150 by Marcato. It comes with very good reviews. It's the manual type, and it comes with, uh, because I thought I don't really need the machine, I might not be able to catch up if it's, um, uh, if it's automated, so I'm using mechanical one. So it comes with this clamp, so I can attach it to my, my work table, and then you can attach this um, handle to crank it up. And you can actually transfer it later because the first part will be to make our pasta dough thinner. So it has to be progressively thinner. We start from, there's a knob in here and we can adjust the thickness. We will start from zero, which is the thickest. Okay, the kneading's done. And when the dough is done, it will look... The dough will appear crumbly just like this. Okay, this is normal. It says to bring the dough into a ball and to wrap in cling film and leave to rest for 15 minutes. And then um, using uh, on a flat surface, other, you can either use a rolling pin or you can use a pasta machine. So you don't have to worry if you don't want to invest on a pasta machine. You can also get the cheaper one like 35 ringgit or something. But I haven't worked with them personally. I just thought, you know, it's something, this is something that I can use for a long time so I picked out a good quality one but if you don't have one and you just is baru nak try boleh je buat manual the first time I made lasagna sheets on my first week with my Thermomix I made lasagna from scratch I made this lasagna sheets I made the sauce I made the bechamel sauce except for the cheese I didn't make the cheese from scratch yeah but I made my lasagna sheets using sweat powered lasagna sheets so i just used my rolling pin the bigger one and i just rolled them and then i actually it was actually cool because i cut them 
exactly as per the shape of my, my baking container, okay? And then uh, it says here that you can roll up the dough to about two to three mm rectangular shape. And that's when we refer to our basic cookbook because it, um, it shows us, like if we want to make farfalle, farfalle is actually butterfly. They look like bow ties, but actually it's butterflies. And then we can cut them into squares about two by five cm. And then let, let's have some fun later and we make them. Okay, and then we just dust it lightly with flour to prevent it from sticking. Not too much, just a little bit. And then you can cut it to the shape that you want. Okay, and then it even gives tips on uh, if you want to do lasagna or ravioli, how, how long it should be and how thick it should be. Tagliatelle, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's... The, this part, we just have fun with it. We see what we can do. I, I'm not that good either. You will see me struggling with this later. It's just something, you know, to give you an idea of how to do it. And then later on, we're going to cook one batch just to show you how it's done. It only needs about three to four minutes. So it's very nice. You can actually halve the recipe. You can like have 100 grams. This is, this is half the recipe. This is 100 grams of um, flour with one egg. So if you're alone or you're cooking for one or two, you can use this and then you can cook just the amount that you need as and when you need it because it takes so fast. It's only about three to four minutes. I'll do it later so you can see how it looks like. And I'm telling you, fresh pasta just tastes incredible. It's nothing like the dried type. Okay. And of course, we can play around with the colors. If you wish, we can add a bit of, um, I don't have any spinach leaves right now, but um, traditionally it's spinach leaves and um, tomato juice. But if you wish, you can tell me in the comments, maybe we can color one of these balls with uh, matcha powder and the other one with a bit of turmeric maybe. Those are stuff that I have in my kitchen. So we'll give it a try shortly. Okay, this one's done and then I'm just gonna take out the dough. We will work with a smaller one because it has rested and then this one we're just gonna tip it into our, our thermomat. Which incidentally, the thermomat also comes from Italy. It's uh, custom made for the thermomix and um, it's a silicone mat but it's got thermal properties and it's very thin and flexible so you can actually wrap if you've seen me do my my bread session and uh, in an earlier uh, episode of quick and easy cooking with mimi i actually wrap my dough in it nasi lemak style and uh, it helps the it helps the, the dough rise much faster meanwhile this one we're going to do a pre-clean I'm going to add water up to the one liter mark and I'll let the Thermomix do the cleaning for me. I'll be right back. I'll just be here. Okay, so this is just water, no soap, and we'll put it in here. And the sauce can be anything. If it wasn't raining earlier, I would have asked my husband to pick some uh, basil leaves for me so I can make some pesto. Maybe I can ask him to do that later. That would be a fun sauce to make. Okay, and then we just bring it together into a ball. If you like pesto and all this while you've been eating from a bottle, my goodness, you really should try making it fresh. I made it fresh a long time ago using the traditional way, using the pestle and mortar. Ya Allah, susahnya nak kena tunggu pakai lesu batu. Tapi sedap. It tastes so good. And now the Thermomix makes it even easier. Okay, so it, it looks like this now. This is why it needs to rest because if you compare, this one is now very soft and pliable as compared to this one which is still very, um, it, it hardly comes together. machine so it's just a matter of picking a spot I have a high chair here I can actually sit here and then just tightening the clamp righty tighty lefty loosey okay so I have to turn it right something that the kids taught me 
You turn something to the right to tighten it and to the left to loosen it. Righty tighty, lefty loosen. something else in your cooking. 
My mom always told me never cook when you're in a bad mood. Somehow it will affect your cooking. And I don't know, somehow she's right. Especially when I'm baking and I'm decorating, I have to like calm myself down before I do my actual decorating. It has an effect, okay? So as much as possible, this part, uh, from, from my experience, you cut, cut the end so that you have like a straight edge. The, 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 the pasta will be nicer when it's a straight edge. So it's just like this. Oh, it's too short. Pull up. I made my noodles too short. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I make it too short. Ah, yeah. Nila nak senang. Ah, sorry, yeah, but it looks like this. <laughs> okay, never mind. The small ones we make our farfalle, okay? We make farfalle. So, tak boleh kan belajar? That means I cannot make them too small. So I'm just gonna give it a quick knead one more time, and I will uh, flatten this so I can reuse it. Actually, not recommended to reuse many times because it affects the the elasticity of of the dough. But after this, I'm gonna cook it quickly, okay? So yang ni kita letak tepi dulu. Um, I'm gonna do the other one. So we start back from zero. We take the smaller one. So you all masak apa hari ni? Hi Kak Weed. Kak Weed pula. Hi Weed. Ni Kak Mimi. <laughs> Dia tukar buat dah. You. One. Okay, tadi tu zero. Now we're doing number one. Okay, then we do number number two. <laughs> Terima kasih with support kak Mimi. Okay, now number three. Okay, this one we will not make too thin because we're gonna make our farfalle, our butterflies, and uh, we use. Um, I actually have this uh, fondant tool saja nak bagi dia macam what you call it like. Uh, a bit of a um, zigzag effect. It's not that neat, but never mind. We should call the show Quick, Easy, and Fun Cooking with Mimi. The fun part is that, okay? Ah. It's, cooking is fun, and especially when you see people eating your cooking, it's so nice. So, see, you have, I don't know if you can see the nice wavy lines there. Okay, and then. You just kind of estimate, okay, and you make like tiny triangles. So you have like a tiny triangle like this, and then you just pinch it up. So you make a tiny butterfly like that. Uh, that's farfalle. Wow. Highlight of the day. I made farfalle. I should look up how to say that in Italian. Okay. Nice. Eh? You get tiny butterflies. And then you leave it a bit to dry. Um, the cookbook says to wait about two to three hours until it dries. Okay. And after this, we do the bigger dough and we make the long one. Eh? I will gather the pasta that's left over into a larger one okay I will make a bit more of the farfalle because it's so little we need to have a lot of butterflies for this to look nice okay just uh, just a couple more I'm sorry please bear with me it's like I'm playing here with my play-doh to make pasta that we're going to cook shortly still a bit damp slightly damp so I think that's why you need to leave it for like two hours okay so enough farfalle for the day and let us make some uh, linguine or fettuccine maybe we combine this together and let's see what happens okay so let's go back to number zero flatten it together I give it a bit of a dusting of flour not too much because I learned from experience if you put too much flour then it will the, the shape is not nice okay so with cooking you just take it as a learning experience you know and uh, 
it's not like you're graded or anything and just take it lightly and any anything that uh, if it doesn't look like how it looks like in the recipe book, a recipe book no problem you just give it another try and you will see that as with anything it becomes easier in, with practice just like when you know the baby at first when he's starting to walk keeps falling and then he keeps trying he gets up and walks again and then suddenly he can run and we have to run around and catch it <laughs> catch the baby okay and now you see this is getting longer Ah, baru betul. Okay, tadi kecil sangat kita punya bola tu. Okay, so kita buat sampai nombor empat je. We do until number four only because I, I don't want to have problem with the. Okay, so this part we can get our wand ready. So I can catch it here. Punya lah newbie. Okay, so you just, yeah, something like this. Okay, yeah, finally getting somewhere. Yes, and then we. Switch to the other side and we feed it to our noodle maker. Bismillah. Okay. Then we catch it from the bottom. Please don't get stuck. Nanti malu kalau tak jadi. Macam stuck pula. Don't worry. Be happy. Oh, I know why because I wasn't holding it here. Okay, lesson learned. You cannot let it hang over to the other side because it might stick. So, okay, this needs practice, people. Tapo tapo. Anak anak bersabar ya. Pasta hari ni tak cantik sangat ya. Tapo jangan disedap. Okay, finally we're getting somewhere. Itu dia, fresh pasta. Okay, and then we just need to slide it here to dry it. Yes. Woo. <laughs> okay, and then like separate it a bit. Okay, and let it dry just a little bit. You separate it a bit. Otherwise, it will all get stuck together when you want to cook it later. Okay, then we can get to the next one. We still have a bit of dough. I actually uh, had a bit of an accident with my handle. Uh, yang ni belum siap lagi. We just do this small one. Eh? Uh. Hi, Shashu. Ah, then we get idea lah. Lepas ni boleh buat macam-macam pula. You can do um, egg noodles. You can do laksa. You can do so many things, kan? And then we, after this, we will make our cappuccino while we wait for this dough to, to uh, relax a bit, to let the gluten do its work. Thank you to my friend Ivy who gave me tips because she made this, she makes this a lot. And she also has her live uh, FB sessions, usually gluten-free stuff, anything gluten-free, you should listen to her. I think her next one is uh, next week. Everyone in KL Malati now as a, a way of uh, thanking you all for supporting us and for making the Thermomix the world's number one super kitchen machine. So we are doing these live uh, FB sessions, sharing with you, sharing experiences. Okay, so it now looks nice. And then we transfer to our noodle section. Then I just give it a tiny dusting of flour so it doesn't stick and so that I will not be embarrassed <laughs> okay bismillah uh, for my non-muslim friends if um, bismillah is actually like um, in the name of God or like you know like the Christians they make the sign of the cross something like that you start something in the name of God I think that is something so beautiful anything that you do in the name of God when you start with the name of God then you should you should know that if it's something that you can't start, if you do anything that you cannot start with the name of God, then maybe you shouldn't be doing it. Simple as that, right? Ah, much better, okay? Ah, cantik sikit. It's a bit shorter, but it's uh, much smoother. See? Practice makes perfect. So the first one was a bit uh, sad, but it's still edible. The second one is much better. I think I need to dust it with a bit more flour. 
See, that, that's how it goes. You do it first. If it doesn't work, you tweak it a bit. And then you try again, you know, you don't just give up at the first run like, oh my goodness, I got it stuck and I'm never going to do this again. No, you just keep on trying. And then one day, inshallah, with God's help, you can do it. Anything is possible. We just have to be open to the possibilities. Okay, so this is much better now. I'm going to check on our dough. It's still a bit, no, you don't shut down on me yet. Thank you. Okay. This one, we let it rest just a bit more. This wrap it so it doesn't dry up. And, okay, this one, we already pre-cleaned. We're going to do our cappuccino milkshake. This is water. I'm just going to give it a good, uh, I need to wash it because we'll be, wash and dry it because we'll be grinding sugar with it. or microfiber because they absorb very well in fact I like to use the cotton cloth napkins you know the ones that babies use because they absorb liquid very well and you just throw them in the wash and if you need to to whiten them again then you bleach them I mean you bleach cloth but you don't bleach food okay, okay. and then we're just gonna do this a quick quiz two, two seconds speed ten to make sure that um, any any dampness that's still stuck under the blade will be will be moved to the sides of the bowl. Okay. Easy peasy. Two seconds. Speed six. No speed ten. Sorry. Okay. And for our cappuccino milkshake, it's just our. Instant coffee, I'm using the Nescafe Gold Blend because it's stronger. The classic one is not strong enough for me. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's visible, but you can actually see the, the moisture at the sides of the bowl, okay? And you can wash this, of course, but for as long as the pins are dry, it's fine. And then we can go to my week and open up the cappuccino milkshake recipe. There we go. We start cooking. While we're waiting for the dough to relax, just hide that for a while. Where is my sugar? Sugar, that's your fade. I'm going to get ice and milk shortly. So the sugar is uh, anywhere between 30 to 65 grams. Up to you, your own personal preference. Okay, and then next, one heat tablespoon of instant coffee. Insert measuring cup into mixing bowl lid. Okay, we're gonna pulverize it now. And speed them. Two twenty seconds speed them. We want to get the milk and the ice. Then to add in the ice cubes, get the bungalow. 
the chips we just put through here. I already weighed this earlier. And then cover it and go to speed seven. spatula huh so I would even scrape it down after I do the, the ice because if you scrape it down right after you pulverize the sometimes you make these tweaks just now after you grind it into the sugar and and coffee into powder it's, it tends to fly all over the place so yeah we can actually do this that we add in the ice first and then we scrape it down and then we continue and it's gonna grind it again for a minute, speed seven. Hello, for all those who just joined, we are making fresh pasta, and while uh, we have one batch here that's already starting to dry, and then um, we have another batch that we are the dough. We're waiting for the dough to like relax a little bit. And then while waiting, we are making cappuccino milkshake. And then we have to scrape it down one more time and insert our butterfly whisk. Ah, if you look at the Italian recipes, it will actually call the butterfly whisk for fale. Yes, exactly like the, the bow shape pasta we're making today. Oh my goodness, we learned a new word today. Farfalle, butterfly. Okay, and then to add in 360 grams of whole milk, we tap tear so that it's zero rise. Oh, it's a new carton of milk. I didn't realize that. Okay, move this aside so it doesn't touch. Move my laptop. Grazie. Okay, I know. Thank you. Grazie. Okay, 360. Okay, the weighing scale is so sensitive, it weighs up to the one gram increment. Next, insert measuring cup into mixing bowl lid and it's going to grind this for one minute on 3.5 speed. 3.5 because we're using the butterfly this time. Butterfly is maximum speed 4. So while this is happening, I'm going to keep the milk. BRB. We need to keep our workspace clean. I'm gonna get rid of the stuff we don't need. And I'm gonna get our cups ready. I couldn't find the rest of my mason jar, so I have one with a handle and one without. No, two without. You can actually make a lot. Meanwhile, we can sit down and look at the comments. Hi, Charlie. Welcome. I haven't seen you in a few days. How's your leg? Okay, now remove the whisk and to divide between four glasses and serve immediately. So easy. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't joined yet, the Dergona Coffee Challenge, you should because it's open to all Malaysian uh, Thermomix users. Oh my goodness, look at this, so nice and foamy, okay, and the, the last day is for tomorrow, super simple, you look up um, Thermomix Malaysia's post about the contest and you post your photo of your Dalgona coffee in the comment section of their face of Thermomix Malaysia's Facebook post and then you have to make sure that the photo has a clear shot of the Thermomix and your Nescafe Gold Blend, okay? And then there's some hashtags that you have to follow and then get your friends and family to like them, okay? 
I mean, that's what friends are for, right? And if you get the most number of likes, the 30 people with the highest number of likes, as easy as that, will get hampers from Nestle, Malaysia, Nestle or Nescafe, yeah, it was the same thing. Uh, and you will get a nice uh, flask and also some, a couple of mugs, special edition mugs, and also the coffee, gold blend coffee, okay. So if you're using mugs, it will, uh, it will be four mugs, but I'm using these large mason jars. I actually use these jars for many things. I use them to make overnight oats. I use them to keep my sourdough starter. Because glass is so easy, easy to maintain, easy to clean, and also easy to sterilize. And there you go, our cappuccino milkshake, and we just... Uh, Put some straws. Please don't judge me. I found these straws in the in the pantry. I don't buy them anymore. My youngest son, you know, you've seen him cook with me, <laughs> chocolate chip cookies. Zach, he actually told me once he found a plastic straw in my car and he said, "Mama, why do you have this? Do you want to kill a turtle?" I'm sorry, Zach. I don't want to kill the turtles. I will dispose of these properly. I will not show, uh, throw them into the waterways. So here's our frappuccino milkshake. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. How do you say delicious in Thailand? I'm sorry, I don't know. It's so good. Mmm. 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 Very nice. Abang Ade, nak kopi? Nah, cappuccino milkshake. Come and grab it. These boys. Okay, so let's check out our pasta. Let me wash my hands again. Then you can take those. You don't have to show yourself in the camera. Yeah, get the other one for your twin. Get the other one for your twin. Thank you. And then uh, I'm gonna pre wash the bowl later because I don't want to be noisy right now. I'm just gonna set it aside. So it's just here. We do this later, no problem. So that's done, and then we continue with our our pasta. I hope it uh, it has relaxed a bit by now. This one has started to dry. In fact, I'll clean this so that I can start to cook this one. Okay? Do you want me to color part of it? Not good. Hi, Ivy. Thanks for the tips earlier. Does anyone want me to try to color the dough? Or oh, no need. I'll try this one. Huh? It looks a bit big. Well, let's try to make it long. So we flatten it a bit, then we add a bit of, uh, we sprinkle a bit of flour. We try to make the end flat so that it's easier to, to put into our pasta machine. Let's keep it. Okay, and then we transfer our crank in here and make sure to reset it to zero. Bismillah. Ah, I bought it from Amazon UK lah, masa Black Friday sale. So tengok lah, macam mana nak beli sekarang. Okay, but I think it makes a lot of difference because I've used the, I've used the cheaper one and it's, the, the, the smoothness of the mechanism is really nice. Italians are good with machines, I have to, we have to acknowledge that, you know, all those supercars, just like Germans are very good with technology, right? Yeah. So now that uh, there's a lockdown worldwide and we can't travel just like we used to, so we let our pallets do the traveling for us. Okay. So much easier, see? Like I told you, practice makes perfect. It's not perfect yet, but it's getting easier. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, where's my wand? If there's a wand in there, Ivy, but I couldn't get it out. It's stuck. So, tak jadilah. 
Okay, let's do one more. I want it to be number four. I want it to be slightly thinner. Sila maso. Yes, thank you. Oh, it's getting a bit uh, too wide. I should cut it, I think. Scissors. It's getting a bit too long and, and, and unwieldy for a noob like me. Okay. We all start out as noobs again. No problem. There we go. Much better. Okay, now we switch our handle to the pasta maker side. I mean the, the noodle side. Okay, I should use the thin part first. So, yeah. Earlier I had problems because my my dough my dough was a bit too wet, so it gets stuck. easier this is the third batch and it's much much easier than my first batch the first batch was so sad the second one was easier the third one is much easier huh cantik kan cantik tak cantik kan hmm serono it's fun there we go okay i think i've shown enough for now let's actually cook the thing okay so we need to activate now. I'm just gonna give it a quick rinse. Apa yang nak sabun sabun pun, I just use about. We won't be boiling it too long. So about just above the blade. It's about it's about 600 grams of water. And then I'm gonna activate. I'm gonna cancel this recipe. Yes. And then I will activate kettle mode. And it's set at 100 degrees. And let cook. So the kettle mode will determine for me how long it takes to heat the water to the temperature that I want. I can actually choose, like my mom asked me, I'd like some warm water, I asked her, would you like 37 degrees or 40 degrees or 50 degrees? You can actually set that, okay? And I'm using my basket to, to cook our pasta. So I think I'll get the first and the second batches. Let's go. Yeah, I should figure out how to get this uh, warmed out later. So, yeah, should be for one person. Ideally, you let it dry a bit before you cook, but because we are in a bit of a rush, just to show you how it looks like. So it's about this quantity. Imagine you're all alone at home and uh, you are feeling like having pasta. It's uh, Ramadan tomorrow and you know, you want to eat something special and uh, you have some fresh tomatoes in the fridge, you have some basil leaves, you have cheese, and you have flour and egg and olive oil, so you can easily make your own pasta, so nice, right? And the water is now at 50 degrees. I'm gonna finish my cappuccino milkshake. Hi, Catherine! So nice, can? Then we can sit down, we can relax. This is the beauty of the Thermomix. We can do stuff we've never done before. We can do stuff we only see on TV, huh? And you can enjoy such a wide variety of, of, of dishes, even though you are in lockdown. I had one customer, she sent me pictures of what she cooked yesterday and my goodness, she had couscous. She had lentil soup and was like, wow, kak, tak macam kena lockdown je. And she was laughing, she says, actually those are leftovers. My goodness, macam-macam. Dia kata sampai, dia dah seronok sangat thermomania sampai dia dah tak tengok dia punya K-drama. And we both agree that what's so nice about this is actually it's very empowering. We get to do what we've never done before. So people who've never cooked or don't know how to cook, we can get our kids to get, you know, introduced to the world of cooking. And um, that same lady, she told me that just because she has gained so much confidence from using this wonderful gadget, the Thermomix, now she is, she is even more confident in the kitchen that she tries recipes using the traditional way it's amazing i know it's it's so wonderful alhamdulillah i feel so blessed that i can do all of these fun things with people and you know 
yet to share with them whatever I know in the process. Oh, meanwhile, we have another batch here while waiting for the water to heat up. Let's make another set of noodles. Oh, this is nice. I actually cut it late, uh, earlier so it would go into our machine much easier. Okay, and then we catch it with our little wand. practice makes perfect so nice now so easy there we go the water is almost uh, boiling after this we're just gonna cook the pasta for about three to four minutes that's what the package says okay let's read our Basic cookbook. Where is it? Cook pasta in a large quantity of salted boiling water. Approximately one teaspoon of salt per liter of water. So we're using 500 grams of water. So we'll put in half a teaspoon of salt for three to four minutes, depending on shape and thickness of pasta. Okay, so let's start with three minutes. I'm gonna put a bit of salt to this. My pink Himalayan rock salt. Okay, now it's boiling. Sikit lagi, kita tunggu dia tinggi ni. Meanwhile, we can sit down. This is the nice thing about having a thermomix. Ayo, tak sempat nak duduk dah siap dah. Thank you. Grazie. And then we have our pasta. Oh, yeah, we're going to salt it. This is half a teaspoon, yes? Okay. And then we just put this in. If you have a lot of water, you can actually use the basket, but um, since I use about 500 grams of water only, I'm going to put the whole thing in. Bismillah. Just dump it in, and then uh, we cook it for, of course, the boiling would be 100 degrees. We do about three minutes. And then, sorry, 100 degrees. And then, of course, we need to reverse because we don't want to cut our pasta. And we do spoon because it's like you are mixing with a spoon. Okay. Now I can sit and co finish my coffee. So simple. Here we go. Tengo ada comment for you too. Ju, hi. Assalamualaikum. Ju, join hari ni. Wow, bestnya. Hi Adina, yes, uh, I know it. Uh, when I wanted to do the kitchen wipe before, somebody said, you know, nanti cepat kotor lah aku semua. And I said, you know, it's better, it will feel lighter, it will feel cleaner, and if there's dust, you can see it easily, can wipe. That's why I decided to wipe. MashaAllah, wa alaikum wasalam. Oh, Mariana, all the way from Riyadh. Oh, wow. I'm really amazed, you guys. It's this, this small thing that I started as um, a service to my customers and a way of thanking and also to share whatever I know about how to use the Thermomix. I've been reaching so many people from everywhere. Today we have Mariana from Riyadh. The other day we had um, Hamida from Germany. We had Sarah from Ireland. Oh my goodness. Okay. One minute and 40 seconds, panjang pula. But this is life with a thermomix. So imagine bulan puasa while you're cooking, whatever it is you're cooking. If this chicken is 14 minutes, if you are slow cooking, maybe one hour you can either sit down, you can read your, your books, you can have an online class, you can finish up your Quran reading, you can prepare your ingredients for the next recipe. If you need to, you can even rest, you can pray. This is life with the thermomix and the kitchen is so clean. You can have it as white as you want and you don't have to worry. I don't have a hood here. This is my dry kitchen and I cook here every day. And whatever you see me cook, that is what we eat for dinner. This is not like some show that I just, you know, do for show, but it's real one. I, I actually told a friend, I don't know now why people want to see me cook dinner. <laughs> but I really hope that you get some tips along the way as I share all this with you. Okay? So it's almost done. I've taken up so much of your time. I hope you enjoyed this uh, pasta making session. But it's pasta for all of us. I'm sorry I hit my... I was being clumsy with the oil here. But you can see our pasta now. And we still have a bit here. 
In fact, while waiting for our for our pasta to cook, we have 30 seconds. I should just make the rest of it. Like, can go up with tungo, can? Okay, bismillah. Cook up, crack. Make it a bit slight, uh, smaller, slightly, slightly smaller. Then we cut into half, which I did. makes perfect. Oh, and our pasta is done. Yes, yes, yes. Oui, j'arrive. Merci. And our pasta is done. Chante. Let me drain it. Itu dia. Siap dah. Ha. So, see? Betul kan? Pasta pun boleh buat, macam-macam boleh buat Okay, so I hope you had fun I hope you got some ideas Tak ada machine pun tak apa You can just roll it flat with your with your rolling pin And then you can cut and you can make Parfale like this Okay, or you can make your own You know, you roll this up even thinner And then you cut them into sheets To, to suit your baking tin And then you can make lasagna tonight Okay, I hope you had fun Thank you so much Join me again tomorrow, 6 p.m. for another fun episode of Quick and Easy Cooking with Mimi. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye. Arrivederci.